The triple digit temperatures here in the borderland don't just affect people, but also animals. ABC 7's Will Heron was in his natural habitat, the zoo, to speak with animal... I didn't write that, by the way. <laughs> I, think, I think Will wrote that, so not just to let you know. <laughs> Spent the day at the zoo with animal keepers to find out what precautions are taken to protect our four-legged friends. Now us humans have water bottles and these splash zones in order to try to cool off. But what do the animals here at the zoo do in order to try and beat the heat? We're going to get these hogs into their water uh, because they like to cool off in their moat, but they also like to go bobbing for apples. It's just like uh, just like you would into a splash pad, for example. So, you know, you go in, you get get wet and then you come out and you, the evaporative cooling in the desert evaporates the water off your body and it keeps you cool. Come on. They only go a certain distance because of the depth of the water, but they're getting in the water and they're cooling off and pretty soon they're gonna have themselves a real nice mud bath. Another reason why they don't go into deeper water is because where they are from, the streams and rivers have crocodiles in them. The zoo's Malayan tiger is also aided by the zoo in order to cool off during these hot temps. A lot the Malayan tiger likes to do is lay out right in front of his cave. He knows there's just a little bit of a breeze coming in and he kind of camps out right there so we can cool off a little bit. The tiger, our male tiger, he loves to swim. Year round he'll be swimming and especially in the heat he'll go into um, the moat and swim around three or four times a day. Another thing that keeps the animals cool are these misters that are in the majority of all the exhibits. Will Heron, ABC7. And the El Paso Zoo opens at 9.30 a.m. daily and takes its last admissions around 2 p.m. On the weekends, they're open until 5.